Hello and welcome. We've got some ongoing elections, so we may as well, you know, stick to the topic a bit and work on some, let's say, interesting hair for a change. Um, so yes, that's right. We're going to dive into hair systems and let's create Trump's hair. <laughs> it is interesting. I have... It really takes some time to look at it to even see how uh, how this works, you know. Uh, but well, you know, we'll make it work. So we got a nice model here <laughs> that we're going to use to uh, apply some hair to. So let's start by defining where we want the hair to be located. Um, so let's just start adding some hair. So select the the head, Shift A. And let's go to curve and empty hair. Now let's go to sculpt mode and we'll be able to add new hair. Let's go with a density brush and we can now just add hairs and remove hairs. Now let's set the correct length from the start. So let's set maybe one meter. It's quite a large model. I'm not working in realistic dimensions, but that's totally okay for this sake. Um, so I'm just going to set the length. So maybe it's like 10. I think that's more accurate. We can always increase it. So the trick here is to not go too high with the density because, you know, it's just not there. So we're going to start, let's say, with a distance minimum of 0.1. Uh, that's too much. That's too much. 0.5. Let's see. I want some interpolation as well, so we can even set this to 1, and that will probably already work. Let's go 0.7. And now we're just going to start with adding the hairline, pretty much. So we've got the ear, looks beautiful. It, it's it's not, uh, it's not that important. So we've got some hair starting there. It goes up, and then it goes... Well, this is not really the hairline, is it? So it's, uh, it's probably going all the way up there, and he's doing some magic with some sprays and stuff to stick this to the, to the front. So let's just try to recreate that, right? So we're just going to go... Let's say it goes until like hair, maybe down there to the air, a little bit in front. And then we go back here. And the, the back of the head is usually filled quite well, so let's just fill that up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, so the air is there. Then this can all be filled with hair. Right, so there we go. Beautiful. So the flimsiness, let's call it that, um, is mostly at the front here, I suppose, and maybe at the top a bit. So we can just decrease the density there by adding a higher um, a distance minimum between the hairs. And then we can start removing some hairs. There we go. And maybe one here at the sides, a bit less. There we go. Beautiful. Really start going in there, you know. Remove some some hairs. And there we go. So now let's just work with this and start some grooming. And we're gonna head head over to the comb brush. Now the sides is it's quite easy. And I'm gonna enable collisions here, sculpt collision. So let's move this to the left. And if you enable the sculpt collisions, it means you're um, your hairs are not going to intersect with your mesh. And I'm also going to set this from sphere to projected. It's just a way I prefer to work on this. So this goes straight back pretty much. And let's just get everything into the right shape first. And the top goes forward a bit as well. So we'll see how that goes later on. But for now, I suppose we need to just get those initial directions of the hairs a bit right. He's actually got quite long hair there. Wow. Interesting. The more you look at it, the more interesting it is, it's getting. So there we go. Some nice brushing there to the rear. Now we've got to do the same um, from the top view a little bit. So a bit more following the shape of the head. Some hairs can stick out, but I think they are quite well um, tied together spray together pretty much let's go into side view it's pretty much going back from side to front view and vice versa and um, now i think the trick is to get this hair going in front 
is to comb it from this part and then just have it go over, I suppose. That is what I feel like is happening here. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so we can manually make this separation. Um, or we can separate this into two hair systems, which I think is going to be easier. Um, but let's just try it like this first, right? There's not that, uh, that much going on to work with. So let's just comb this strength down to like 0.3. And now we can start moving some of the hairs that go on this side. This doesn't completely go back, right? This goes more up. And then it's going like this. It goes over to the right. And then it goes more in front of the face as well. Right? You can see the line there. It goes more like that. And let's make sure everything follows that path a little bit. And this goes there. In front. And a bit more down. A bit more to the left. And I think the hair may be even longer. So we can just, you know, snake hook some hairs out. To really make sure that everything is getting covered nicely. There we go. And let's move it outside of the head a bit. And let's select everything. There we go. Move it out. There we go. We've got some nice swoops going on. Amazing. Maybe even longer, you know. It has to be. There we go. A bit more in the front. That's cool. And then this goes more up. <laughs> we'll get there. The groom. And then let's set this to sphere again. So that we can only access this side of the head without also grooming the other side. Right, so that is basically an important part. If you ch choose projected, you will also groom the hairs on the back of the head, which makes sure that you can groom two sides at the same time. But if you only want to do one side, it's important to set this to um, sphere, I guess. So we can move this down more. There we go. Beautiful, and then this goes down like that. And then we got some really long hairs here at the bottom. I go down more like that. Some wild strands like that. This goes down like that. And then we even have some wild hairs there at the front, I suppose. So let's just add some hairs right there. Let's make them a bit longer. Like six. And then we're going to add a few here. And we can actually select just those hairs. Like that. With the select tool. And then we can just groom these. To go a bit more down. Like that. Right. Just, just like that. A bit more. Perhaps a few there as well then. And then groom these down too. Setting this projected for a sec. There we go. I think that's looking better. Um, I think the reason why it's close to the eyebrows here is because he's making a face. You see the wrinkles here, so it moves the top and the bottom closer together. But when you have a neutral expression, usually your forehead is a little bit bigger. Um, perhaps not this big, though. Um, but I think we can add, just groom it a bit more into into style, you know, something like that. There we go, and then this can be more flat, like that. Beautiful, flat, amazing. <laughs> I think we're going in the right direction now. There are a few hairs here at the bottom. Um, that need to go down. Perhaps these. Let's groom these hairs. Uh, actually, let's not do that. Let's actually just add a new system. So go back to object mode, select your head, shift A, curve, and let's add another empty hair. And then go to sculpt mode, and let's add a bit of density um, right at the side, right about there. 
And that can be quite a lot, I feel like. Something like that. And perhaps even more. Nah, that's fine. So we can now just groom this to go down. Like that. And then it goes a bit back too, I suppose. Like this. And then this all goes along with the rest of the hair. Something like that. It's quite a tricky one to get right, I suppose. But it looks something like this from the profiles. Then we can go to the other system. This goes a bit more outwards as well, a bit more bold. And this goes a bit lower. It's all quite quite round, it feels like. Not, not a lot of loose strands everywhere. Um, and this goes more in like that. Beautiful. It's all quite rounded, rounded. And just keep at it until you are satisfied with your results. I'm going to stick to something like this, I suppose. Yeah. Something like that. And this has to stick a slightly bit more as well. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful beautiful um, I am going to make this a bit shorter I am not really a shrink with the minus symbol I don't really like that even though it may be quite long I'm just going to keep it a bit shorter there we go that is the initial kind of setup I think we're on the right track here let's groom this to be a bit more back actually like that and should we add some more hairs here? Um, maybe, maybe we can just, yeah, what I'm gonna do is just drag this out a bit more, like that. Just to cover that. I think that's just how it works, really. It's just, if there's no hair there, there is no hair. You just need to cover it in a different way. Which is gonna be like something like this, I suppose. <laughs> we'll see how it looks once we finish this. So this is our initial hair system. Um, let's go to the modifier panel and we can now actually open up a new window right here. Set this to the asset browser and we can go to the essentials and then we have the default hairs of Blender, right? This is just native in the system and we can now drag whatever we want onto our hair. So what I want to do is let's get our trim back. So we first of all need some more hairs. I think that's a good one to start off with. Um, so there's two ways to do that in here. Uh, we got to duplicate hair curves and we have an interpolate hair curves. So we can drag that on there. And it's going to be removed first, but we can reselect our surface. And now we'll end up with a lot of hairs. Um, so let's see how we can fix the weird look here. So the distance to guides is um, something that we need to play around with um, because that is just going to tell Blender how far a hair, a pound hair for, from the interpolate hair curves, how far a, ha a pound hair can look to each side in order to follow the shape of that curve, I guess, and where it will spawn to. So something like this already looks a lot better, I suppose, right? Um, is it too much? Perhaps. Is it too much hair? So we can just crank that down, you know? We can just crank the density down. So it is a bit less. Let's say something like that. Looks quite interesting. Um, so let's start with that and we can follow um, the the same steps for the second hair cyst that we created, but not right now. We can do that later. And then for the hair, we can also drag in a little bit of a clump, I suppose. And we especially have that on the sides here where it's a bit more wet. <laughs> I don't know. It looks less dry. Uh, we can actually crank in a bit of an... Uh, where is it? Where is it? A clump. Clump. This one. We can just drag and drop that on there. 
Um, and then we can shape that how we want as well. Um, I'm going to, let's see. Let's say, um, tweak some of these values. Mm, I want them to be starting late. I want them to start clumping uh, a bit later. Like that. I want to preserve the length. And I think that already looks better. Without and with, you can see they are starting to um, move together a little bit. And perhaps we can spread the tips a little bit. And then I'm just going to decrease the factor a little bit to prevent some of those hairs from going inside the head too much. There we go. All right, that has been part one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. We will enjoy any one of those. And then we will see you in part two. Cheers.